Even if you live in a developed country, you can easily end up in a wild rainforest, in the case that it's located in a tropical zone. So sooner or later, fate can push you with the harsh reality of nature. Or maybe you yourself want to try out the role of Bear Grylls. And you will remember this two-day excursion in a tropical paradise for the rest of your life. If you manage to survive, of course. Indeed, in the dense depths of the jungle, many dangers lurk. And overcoming them, people have done things that seem to exceed human capabilities. Take note of the tips prepared by us below, and you can not only withstand the wild conditions of the jungle, but also return home safe and sound, and with some cool photos. Tip 1. How to move in the jungle If you do not panic and move around carefully, you will save yourself from many problems. First of all, relax, analyze your position, and navigate the terrain. How to navigate the terrain? Your task is to return to civilization. It is necessary to determine the general direction of moving to a safe place more precisely. If there is no compass, use the sun and the clock as an aid to determine the direction. In the jungle, it is rarely possible to move in a straight line, and this greatly complicates the progress towards the goal, but you still need to try not to deviate from your route. Even if you have a compass, in order not to stray from the route, note some landmark every 50 to 100 meters, special trees, shrubs, boulders, changes in relief, etc., and go to it. If you move to a distant object, climb up the hill, slopes or trees, and adjust the direction. In order not to go astray, use this life hacking. Find a long, thin vine. Wrap one end on your shoulder, and let the free end, 10 to 20 meters long, stretch out from behind. Moving forward, Turn around every 20 to 30 meters. If the vine is drawn back between the trees and bushes, it makes a straight line and the direction is maintained. If the bend of the vine is noticeable, it means that you have deviated from the direction and it should be corrected. Tip 2. What is the best way to move? In order not to get a lot of scratches and bruises, move neatly. If necessary, work with your shoulders and hips. Bend, squat or straighten up. Speed up or slow down as necessary. How often should you rest? Regardless of speed, make a 10 to 15 minute stop every hour. Arrange a halt approximately every five to six hours. 1.5 to two hours will be enough to gain strength. Prepare hot food or tea and take care of your shoes and clothes. Tip three, how to find water in the jungle. Most often, it is not difficult. Water from a clean stream with a fast current and stones is a good source of water, suitable for drinking and washing. If you cannot find such a source of water, look down and try to find the traces of fauna representatives. Animals feel the direction in which they should move in order to come to water. You can replenish stocks using vines and palm trees. Rainwater may accumulate in their leaves. It may not be crystal clear, but it's better than ordinary river water. Water from tropical backwaters and marshes can only be drunk after it's been boiled use, filter it through fabric, and then boil it. Quite clean water can be obtained from dirty streams or lakes. You should dig a hole in the ground, one to six feet from the edge of the shore, then let it seep and settle the dirt. There are alternative ways to extract water and moisture. Water can be obtained from bamboo and grape shoots by making cuts on them. Coconuts, especially when they're green, give milk juice, which is tasty and a healthy, nutritious product if consumed in small portions. If you cut the coconut flower, strings or growths on a tree, you can get a sugar syrup. Tip 4. How to find food in the jungle Food in the jungle is abundant, but many fruits and plants, fish and animals can be poisonous. Watch for monkeys. Any food they eat is basically safe for humans. However, never eat fruits and vegetables as they are. Completely peel them off and vegetables should be cooked before consumption. How to eat fish There are some representatives of poisonous fish in tropical waters, but mostly many of their varieties are edible. The safest fish you can eat can be found in the open sea or at the depth behind the reefs. If you're going to eat unfamiliar types of fish, follow these rules. Eat only small pieces of fish. If there are no negative consequences, you can safely continue to eat further. Tropical fish spoil quickly need to be eaten immediately after catch. Never eat the insides or caviar of any tropical fish. For survival on coast, you can use shellfish, snakes, lobsters and sea urchins, and small octopuses. What plants should be avoided? Some plant species are poisonous and should be avoided. Now we will tell you what they are. A white mangrove or blinding tree is found in swamps, in estuaries, or on the coast. When touched, the juice forms sores on the skin. If the juice gets in your eyes, there is a risk of going blind. Bovine shrubs are commonly found in thickets and areas covered with shrubs. 
flower petals and pods cause skin irritation. The contact with the eyes can cause blindness. Zeltis can be easily found in ponds and near them. The plant is poisonous and causes a burning sensation on the skin when touched. Smelly dope is characteristic for abandoned and cultivated land. All parts of this plant, especially the seeds, are poisonous. Pangi. This plant is found mainly in the Malaysian jungle. Its seeds contain prosic acid. The plant cannot be eaten raw, but if you fry it, you can eat it. Laxative nut. The seeds of this plant act as a strong laxative. Bypass it. Do not complicate your adventures. The castor looks like a bush. It is often found in thickets and in open places. The plant has poisonous seeds, acting as a strong laxative. Vomiting root is abundant in all tropical areas. It has an appetizing white or yellow fruit, similar to a small orange. Very often found in Southeast Asia. The fruit has extremely bitter pulp and seeds that contain a highly toxic poison. Tip 5. What to wear in the jungle If your body is not completely covered, it becomes vulnerable to insect bites, cuts and scratches. Therefore, remember our recommendations. Clothing should be loose and long enough so that you can hide it in gloves and socks and not leave uncovered places on the body. Clothing should be of high quality to withstand the harsh conditions. It is necessary to have with you head anti-mosquito nets and gloves that protect against prickles. Clothing should have enough pockets to carry items of paramount importance. Maps, compass, matches, and for a knife, you should have a special cover. What shoes are best for moving through the jungle? You can choose a pair of high-quality army shoes. At short distances, you can limit yourself to wearing baseball boots or like canvas shoes with rubber soles. But at long distances, good leather shoes will protect your feet from bruises and blisters much better. Tip 6. Shelter. The choice of location. Try to choose a place in a high open area, away from the swamps. Here you will not be so much bothered by mosquitoes. The earth will be drier and more likely that the place will be blown by a breeze. Avoid dry riverbeds. Sometimes after rains that have been far away from your location, they can fill up with water within several hours. Type of shelter The type of shelter being built depends on the time available for its construction and on whether it will be permanent or temporary shelter. You can build one of these simple shelters. A simple shelter made from a parachute thrown over a rope or a line stretched between two trees. A shelter made from an A-frame and covered with a thick layer of palm leaves or leaves from another tree, pieces of bark or bundles of grass. How to build a shelter Cover the roof with the leaves from bottom to top. To do this, use the broad leaves of a young banana tree. Build a bonfire on a flat stone or on laid out small flat stones. When the stones are well heated, put a leaf on them and let it turn black and become glossy. In this state, the leaf becomes more waterproof and durable and can be used for roofing. After the shelter is ready, dig a small drainage groove at the bottom of the hill and will provide you with dry floor. This type of shelter is considered ideal because it can be made completely waterproof. How to arrange the bed Do not sleep on the ground. Make yourself a bed of bamboo or small branches, covering them with palm leaves. You can make a hard cover of the bark of dead trees. It's still better than nothing. If you have parachute fabric, then you won't have any problems with a bed. A hammock made from a parachute can even replace your bed. The jungle always seems to us some kind of frightening place. But the truth is, the jungle is a kind of paradise. If you constantly feel irritated, you're upset, and have lost the meaning of life, go there immediately. The world of the jungles will be so unusual and amazing that there will be no time left at all for those thoughts. And the dangers, even if they are imaginary ones, will harden your spirit. All the tips outlined above are based on the recommendations of experienced tourists and are designed to prepare you to respond correctly to the fact that you are lost in the jungle. To send all your forces to find a way out of the situation with minimal losses or without them. So, are you ready to challenge nature and yourself? Then go for it. Share this video with your friends, subscribe and press like. 
Click the bell button to be the first to see new videos. We still have a lot of amazing things to share with you.